What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check it out. I know you guys are familiar with the song The Gambler by Kenny Rogers and those famous lyrics. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. Okay, Sony should be in full run mode right now. They should be running away from this whole Sony Spider-Man universe. This thing is absolutely dead, dead, dead. Okay, don't put any more money into it. You know, you got two more movies coming out. I understand that. You still got trailers and marketing. I would limit all of that as much as humanly possible. I would try to get out of this thing as cleanly as I could and then maybe reboot it about three or four years down the line if you find some good writers, if you find some cats that understand this franchise and understand what they could do with these characters. Because basically, Madam Web just showed you straight up that Sony don't know what they're doing. They have no idea what to do with these characters. They have no idea how to tell a story in this universe. So just pull the plug. It's a wrap. I know everybody's looking at Craven and Venom 3 and saying, oh, well, what if those are good? They aren't going to be good. You know, if anything, they might be OK, but nobody's coming to check for it. The fans and the audience, your general audience, they're not going to be interested in Craven. What do they know about Craven? Absolutely nothing. They don't know a thing about Craven. Spider-Man's not going to be in it. <laughs> you know, once again, Spider-Man's not going to be in this Spider-Man universe movie. So what is the point? You haven't had Spider-Man in any of these films. This is the third film. You're about to have films four and five. I doubt there's going to be a Spider-Man showing in Venom 3. It's over. All right, just pull the plug on this thing and move on. That's what they need to do, and especially when they're putting out uh, results like this. 12% on the tomato meter with the critics, and then you got a 56% audience score. And you know, when you click in here and go a little deeper, all right, uh, top critics actually gave it 14%. I don't know how the hell that happened. But then the all audience, it's even worse. It's 43%. Nobody's feeling this. And this is the numbers that uh, Sony should be looking at when it comes to how much money are we going to invest in this Sony Spider-Man universe? We should be looking at numbers like this. We also should be looking at the box office. Yeah, the uh, box office numbers are even worse, all right? You can see Madam Web sitting all the way down here in fourth place. You know, in only its second weekend, in fourth place. And another thing to consider, if you go back to last week, uh, yeah, last week, Madam Web wasn't even number one over the weekend in the box office. It wasn't even number one, just a standard weekend. It was number two then. So this movie is never going to be number one in the box office at any point in time, all right? And you got to remember, like these comic book joints, normally the week that they drop, oh yeah, number one with a bullet. They normally stay number one for like three weeks, just running things. Yeah, Madam Web goes from two, drops all the way down to number four, only makes $6 million in the box office this weekend. That's terrible. Should be able to get $6 million like on a Tuesday. They can't even get this on the entire weekend. And then on top of that, dropped 61% damn near. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. It's over. It's a wrap, guys. It's a wrap. I mean, look at the numbers themselves, all right? The actual box office numbers, $77 million worldwide. Listen, okay, are you going to get a return on your investment, Sony, if you decide to keep pumping money into this Sony Spider-Verse situation? Because that's what this is showing. You're not going to get any money back. If you pump whatever you put into this, you just consider that money lost. They've already blew $80 million, all right? They blew $80 million on this movie. Some people are even saying they spent $100 million. I don't know why, but somehow they spent $100 million on this joint. This thing ain't going to make any bread. If they spent $80 million, you know, that plus marketing, they would have to come somewhere in the neighborhood of $200, $220 million to break even, somewhere in that range. This thing isn't going to reach $100 million. In all the DC movies that came out last year, all of them flops. Every last one of them flops. Flash, Aquaman, um, uh, Blue Beetle, and Shazam, all of them at least crossed the $100 million mark. Madam Webb's not going to get that. you know. Or if it does, it's barely going to get it. It's going to squeak over it, depending on how long they leave this thing in theaters. It's a wrap, man. Pull the plug, Sony. I wouldn't spend another dime in this franchise. And then Forbes is talking about it, but to me, they didn't go far enough, all right? The Madam Web's box office flop put Sony Spider-Man universe in jeopardy. I say it put it to death. Yeah, all right, this thing is dead, dead, dead. There ain't no reason to keep going with this. This thing is not bringing in any money. Nobody cares about it. And again, the reason is, is because the people that wrote this don't give a damn about comic books. They don't give a damn about the characters. They don't give a damn about the genre. They don't care. You got to find people that care about this stuff, Sony. You can't just run out some slop, you know, for your little quick, easy cash grab. Cash grabs ain't working no more. All right. You want to grab some cash, give us some good product, to, you know, then we'll go ahead and spend our money. If you're just trying to do a cash grab.
But see, Sony, Marvel, all of these cats right now, they're just thinking about the money. They're just thinking about the cash grab. Oh, we got this big IP. How can we cash in on this? Yeah, you cash in on it by writing good material, finding people that love and, and, and adore and care about the, sh the uh, comic book superhero genre. That's what you need. And you don't have that right now, clearly. You know, we already learned that lesson with Morbius, didn't we? And yet, Madam Web's worldwide box office is still trailing Morbius's global debut in its second weekend. Again, this thing is going downhill fast, yo. In its second weekend, look, uh, it made $77 million after two weekends. That's Madam Web. Morbius earned more in its global opening weekend with $83.9 million in its first weekend. It is getting worse, all right? It's not going to hit Morbius's numbers. What did Morbius finish up with anyway? Yeah, Morbius finished with $167 million worldwide. It's not going to hit that number. It's absolutely not going to hit that number. It's time to call it a wrap, Sony. I'm telling you, you guys blew it. I would push pause after uh, Venom 3 comes out. All right, Venom 3 is out. All right, and we're done. Don't green like shit else. No TV shows, no movies, nothing. Scrap it. Just like you did with Silk. You had that Silk idea. They scrapped that. Scrap everything. Just scrap it all. And no, we're not going to try to refocus it and put it back into production. No. Stop what you're doing. Just let it rest for about four or five years and then find somebody that absolutely cares about Morbius and Madam Web and Venom and all of these characters. Find somebody that absolutely loves and cares about these characters and understands the comic book genre, understands what the fans want, and, and then can bring that to life and has experience in that. These clowns that wrote Morbius, how did they get an opportunity to write Madam Web? God only knows. But you got to stop doing that crap because you're not doing yourself any favors. Pull the plug on that. Find people that love the franchise. Like Drew Goddard, we were also talking about this on um, the, the DA's office, that Drew Goddard was set to do a Sinister Six movie. A Sinister Six film, and that would have been amazing. And Drew Goddard is a guy that absolutely understands the genre. Yeah, Fandom Wire was talking about it. Uh, why Drew Goddard's canceled Sinister Six movie would have been epic. They did a whole video on it. Uh, after The Amazing Spider-Man 2, we were set to receive a Sinister Six movie uh, directed by filmmaker Drew Goddard, the filmmaker behind the meta horror comedy masterpiece The Cabin in the Woods. He was also the showrunner for the first season of uh, Netflix Daredevil. You know, that masterpiece, you know, so here's a guy that understands the comic book genre. He has respect for the characters. He did a great job with Daredevil. That's somebody that you absolutely trust. And then Cabin in the Woods was spectacular as well. Guy knows his stuff. I think he also either wrote or directed the first Cloverfield. He's a he's a he's a dude, man. He's the guy that you want behind the camera, writing, directing. He's actually um in James Gunn's group. He's in James Gunn's current uh, DCU, you know, uh, writer's room. You know, he's one of the guys that's helping James Gunn shape that. So that's one of the things that actually gives me a little bit of confidence when it comes to the DCU is that you got a guy like Drew Goddard involved. Uh, Goddard has said in interviews that his Sinister Six movie would have had uh, the same punk rock mentality as his acclaimed debut. But what would that look like? You know, and then it goes on to say, yeah, they probably would have had the Green Goblin in there, Goblin King. You got to figure that he probably would have brought Doc Ock in, introduced the Doc Ock. He probably would have had Scorpion, probably would have had uh, Mysterio. There's all kinds of different characters. And they actually can do that now. They have some of those characters already introduced. Shocker, you know, you could absolutely do a Sinister Six movie now. Do I trust these bozos to do it? Hell no, I don't trust them to do it because they don't know what they're doing. They would have the writers from Morbius and Madam Web write it and it would be utter trash. So, no, I don't think that they should do anything further with this. Pull the plug, pull all the way back, just retool, you know, give it five years, find some people that absolutely love the franchise before you go in another step. This article on film stories uh, after Madam Web, Craven the Hunter has just become hugely important for Sony. Again, I don't think there's a chance in hell that this thing works anymore. The fans, listen, you can, Craven can be great. Let me say this. Craven could be a great movie for all I know. I don't think it's going to do any numbers in the box office because it will be rated R. At least that's what I think it's going to be rated based on that trailer. It better be rated R. But um, I don't think that's going to do the numbers because, listen, unless it's a great movie and it's getting amazing word of mouth because it's just that damn good. 
I don't think it's going to do the numbers in the box office that it needs to do to substantiate this franchise any longer. This Sony Spider-Man universe. I just don't think it's going to do that. It's a rated R movie and it's going to struggle to, you know, put butts in seats. So, yeah, first weekend may be good. If it's a good movie, maybe it carries on. Second weekend, it gets a little bit stronger word of mouth. Maybe it stays in theaters for a couple of months and does decently. But you still have to ask yourself, how many people are going to be invested in this universe after Madam Web shit the bed, after Morbius shit the bed, and the Venom movies haven't been exactly spectacular either? Again, I think this whole thing is done. I think it's dead. You just got to pull the plug at this point. The patient is dead, okay, Dr. The patient is dead. Just go ahead and wrap it up. Put the sheet over his face. We, we're done here. I mean, that's basically how I see it. But I don't know what you guys think about this situation with the Sony Spider-Verse or Spider-Man universe, whatever they want to call it. I mean, at this point, I don't think there's any purpose in going further. Pull the plug. Hey, let's figure out what we want to do. We got a good crop of characters. We got some people that we could absolutely build something with. But the number one thing they got to do is find people that care and then try to put some Spider-Man in your Sony Spider-Man universe. Maybe that's another thing they need to think about, you know, putting Spider-Man in the Spider-Man universe. Who'd have thunk it? All right. But anyway, folks, you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.